I've been an actress all my life. Whoo! I'm also 45 years old. I live with my mother, and I have occasional hemorrhoids. <laughs> oh, and I also weigh 170 pounds. <laughs> These are the things that I'm not supposed to talk about. The big no-nos in show business. Well, I got news for you folks. <laughs> I'm not going to hide who I am anymore. <laughs> I met my first agent at the age of five with my mother in a department store bathroom. <laughs> I've spent the rest of my life in ladies' rooms looking for my second agent. <laughs> I have this reoccurring nightmare. I'm in the same bathroom where I met this agent, but I'm at the age I am now. And I go by a stall and I go, Excuse me? Um, excuse me, ma'am? Uh, would you, uh, here's an extra roll of toilet paper. By the way, here's my headshot. <laughs> hey, you with the red shoes. <laughs> Do you have an in with William Morris? <laughs> agent first saw me when I was a little girl. She was at the sink washing her claws. I mean hands. <laughs> <laughs> the scent of unflushed feces wafted through the air. <laughs> and she turned around and said, Oh, what a beautiful little girl! <laughs> I had to say she had big caps. Is she an actress? <laughs> Do you want to be an actress, honey? <laughs> my mommy! <laughs> for three years, I went on so many auditions. Sorry for spinning. <laughs> <laughs> Yet never got a part. Mm. Even then, at such a young age, <laughs> I sensed something about the process that was cold and hard. <laughs> All about the money, nothing about humanity. I sensed right away that most casting directors were not happy people. <laughs> Yet I felt my sole purpose, my passion, was somehow entwined with show business. You know, folks, there was so much in me, yet I couldn't quite translate it to the outside world. I knew the feeling, the emotion I had deep inside me, yet nobody really saw me. Nobody got me. And it broke my heart. My first experience with sexual harassment <laughs> <laughs> was when I was 17 years old. I had read an article in what was then the drama log and is now the Backstage West. <laughs> that a photographer was looking for, sorry for spitting, that's the work done on the left hand side of my mouth. <laughs> a photographer was looking for three models for a tanning ad. So I took my 17 year old ass and went, <laughs> <laughs> Within 20 minutes of the interview, the 50-year-old photographer pulls his penis out and tells me to give him a blowjob. He said that it was part of the job that all the models did that. Well, unlike the 17-year-old girls nowadays, I had an idea what a blowjob was, <laughs> but I wasn't completely sure. And I felt so intimidated by this man. 
I was really felt pressured. So as I lowered my face to his penis, <laughs> I nervously took a breath and went. <laughs> from outer space. <laughs> so, what are you doing? I'm giving you a blow job. <laughs> he said to me, look at little girl. You gotta put your lips to my penis and suck it like a lollipop. You gotta do it if you want this job. So once again, I lowered my face to his penis. I wrapped my 17-year-old <laughs> thick, luscious <laughs> lips. I'm sorry, I'm looking at you, sir. <laughs> I'm used to it. <laughs> Around his engorged member <laughs> and sank my teeth into it. <laughs> I bared down with all my might. When I let go, his penis looked like a roadkill. <laughs> only the women laughed. As I grabbed my sweater and ran out the door, I heard his yells of, You little fucking bitch! You're never gonna work in this town again! I remember distinctly turning around and saying, Oh, yes, I will! I'll learn how to give a really good blow job. <laughs> and I did. <laughs> As I was in the bus returning home, I looked out the rain splattered window, and it was dirty. I was so cold. I wrapped myself up, and I quietly cried. I told my mother what I mean, I didn't tell my mother what happened. You know, I felt so sad and disheartened that all I wanted to do was the work that I love. I wanted to dance. I wanted to sing. I wanted to act. I wanted to do my passion. I wanted to love. I wanted to be a part of and share. But what I got in return was a cruelty I couldn't quite comprehend. <laughs> <laughs>